<laughs> Give it to us. Lord God, thank you for this great day, Lord. Um, thank you for everyone that ran the 5K and their just perseverance, God. I pray that this breakfast would nourish us and that we would be able to worship you and learn more about you. You know I pray? Amen. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Listen up. Please, bro. Is anybody listening? Is anybody listening? Is anybody listening? <laughs> it's on video. I'm not. <laughs> All right, go. Did y'all see me to put my mom's face on? Leanne, the, the 5K runners are requesting that they are able to get uh, to priority in the line. You I know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. If we ran the 5K, you can't talk it. If you walked it, all right. Listen up, listen up, listen up to Leanne. Listen up, listen up. Start out with one piece of French toast and two sausages, and then we'll see how it goes. Oh! So that we don't throw food away. I
And there's one of my favorite moments in the Gospels is Jesus, he's been preaching some hard stuff. And man, the crowds have been following up until then. And finally, like, man, this dude's crazy. We're out of here. And then Jesus turns to the 12. He says, hey, what, are you guys going to leave too? And then Peter, Peter speaks up. And he says something that, you know, Peter, only Peter was saying. He says, who else are we going to go to? Or Peter says, we have, we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Students, here's the thing. If, we, if you will, if you just begin to grasp the nature of God, the greatness of God. Just if you would begin to wrestle with this truth, that God is everywhere at the same time, and he also lives inside of each and every one of the people who have surrendered to Jesus. If you would begin to grasp that, I believe we would say with Peter, man, what else should we enter into a relationship? Like, who else should we enter into a relationship? Who else should we trust with our life? Who else should we trust with our eternity? Because there ain't anybody else who can compare. I, I, I believe that the only way we have a faith that lasts a lifetime is when we put our trust, our faith in the nature of God. You've got to stop trusting in the things that he does for you and trust in who he is. Man, I love that this week we are looking at the nature of God, different aspects of who he is each and every morning. Because students, it's trusting in who God is that helps us remain strong and faithful when we don't understand the circumstances, the things going on in the world around us. I'm going to speak more to it here in just a second in the panel, but man, when in our darkest moments, it's trusting in who God is that can pull us out. Because the thing about the dark, if, if you've, I mean, you all know, this morning, your spot, some sponsor turned the lights on and immediately right like the the light is repulsive to you man when we spend too much time in the darkness the light is repulsive to us we get angry at god we don't want to come to church we don't trust that youth pastor we don't want to hear about jesus but if our faith is is in who he is instead of the way he makes us feel if our faith is in who he is instead of the words he has spoken to us or what, what he's done for me, then I know even though my sin nature doesn't want any of this, I know that I need it. And I know that calm only comes from him. Nacho time, nacho! I did get that expression. It was amazing. It Chris, opens it up. It's fantastic. Chris, you brought it. No, no, you're excited. This is greatness. You got my expression. Madison was highly animated. <laughs>
of book trading time, and they've all brought like stacks of books. Guys, I'm telling trading. you, all of my friends are such readers. Like, this is like, okay, I just. Sir, what's on the menu for Miss Leanne? <laughs> Lemon pepper chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans. Whoa. And for, dinner, for dessert tonight, what's for dessert? Banana no, no, pudding! <laughs> Amen.
do you not know that your body, if you're in Christ, is a temple of the who? Somebody say it with me. Holy Spirit. And where is the Holy Spirit? The Bible says where? Within you. If you're a believer, you've said yes to Christ as King. You have turned from sin and self and trusted in Jesus. He moves inside of you. God is totally present inside of you. Totally here. Write it down. Working on you. Write it, write it down. God is totally here working what? On you. you. Know I mean? There's a man. He told me everything. Could, 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 this, could this be the Christ? And the Bible says this next. It says that many Samaritans from that town believed in him. Who's the him? Look at somebody say, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. Many Samaritans from that town believed in him because why? Because of the woman's what? Testimony. See, I want you to grasp tonight that God is here. He is living in you and he is working on you because he has something he wants to do through you. He gave us the good news to in us and on us to speak through us. Now look again. The, the woman, the Samaritan, came to him. And they asked him, well, 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 hey, why don't you stay with us a little while longer? So, so Jesus now has these Samaritans coming to him. Why? Because of the woman's testimony. Why was she giving a testimony? Because the Lord had moved in her. And now she moved and she told and she shared her story. These people came to Jesus and they're like, hey, Jesus, you hang out with us a little while? And so look close. So Jesus did what? He stayed there how much longer? It's not a trick question. It's on the screen. How much longer did Jesus stay with him? Two days. Now check it out. This is awesome. And many more believed. Now, why? why? Why did they believe now? Not because of her story. Why? But because, say with me somebody, of, say with me, his, what? Word. They said to the woman, it's no longer because of what you said that we believe for, say it with me somebody, we have heard for ourselves and we know that this is indeed, say it with me somebody, the Savior, what, of what the world says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. When you come to Christ, the Holy Spirit moves in you and the Holy Spirit moves in you, look, look, look close. He goes, when he moves, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you'll be my witnesses. Where? Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and Oklahoma. Hello, somebody. Here it is. The Bible said you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and all of you who have Christ in you, the Holy Spirit in you, that you are now empowered by the Holy Spirit to tell your world about Jesus. Now, I just had this crazy vision two weeks ago.